what's up guys this is Sonny and here is a video you guys wanted to see you guys wanted to see my hack and touch x99 build versus a real Mac Pro late 2013 basically a 6 core versus my 6 core so the Mac Pro late 2013 I have here is a 6 core running the latest OS X 10.11 so it's running on a better better version of the next uh, OS X and as you can see I'm running uh, Mac OS X 10.10.5 so the current version of the Mac, Mac OS X and um, as you can see the processor I have Core i7 5020K with 12 gig of RAM and as you can see the Mac Pro it's running at Intel Xeon E5-1650 6 core also with 32 gigs of RAM so I don't have a real Mac Pro so basically what I did I went to Geekbench browser and I just you know picked up this Geekbench someone else submitted it because a real Mac Pro cost around $4,000 and uh, I don't have money to go buy a four thousand dollar Mac Pro. It's not that I don't have money. I wouldn't spend four thousand dollar for a computer. I'd rather build one for two thousand dollars. So as you can see, my hack and touch here. I spent two thousand dollar and the six core. And as you can see, the Mac Pro right hand side is a four thousand dollar before tax. Also, as you can see. My Mac Pro single core 3574 and the multi core 21025. And also, as you can see, the Mac Pro late 2013 six core processor with 32 gig of RAM, single core 3434 and the multi core 20241. So basically, you can build a Hackintosh and get the same performance out of it same performance as a Mac Pro late 2013 that cost around $4,000 now the pro and the con the pro is if you buy a real Mac Pro it comes with the one year Apple warranty or you can buy warranty and you don't have no headache updating your OS X to the latest OS X version and the con <laughs> the, that was the pro and the con is it cost around four thousand dollars before tax now my Hackintosh uh, pro and the con you could build the Hackintosh for two thousand dollar x99 and it will do the same it will give you the same performance at the $4,000 Mac Pro and uh, but the con is it could crash anytime uh, every time you try to update to the next OS X version you will have to use um, maybe kicks and all that and sometimes the graphic driver is not updated same time so if you have a, like a Maxwell 9 series graphic card you have to wait for the graphic driver you know and then you have to update to the next uh, OS X version so both of this system have pros and cons but as you can see um, my Hackintosh did a slightly better single core score and multi core score than the Mac Pro late 2013 and I didn't find one with the 16 or 12 gig so I picked up the one they had Geekbench browser for 32 gig RAM oh, as you can see I have 12 gig RAM so the moral of the story here is you can build your own Hackintosh or you can go pick up one for from Apple store and you might pay a little bit more but it'll come with the warranty one year warranty and also 
you could extend the warranty if it ever breaks you could take it back to apple and apple will take care of it but if you have a hackintosh you have to fix it you have to replace the part you are the warranty you are everything so let me know what you guys think don't forget to like and subscribe if you have any question leave the comment below peace